guys, fish on. I think it's a pretty nice big one too. Just gently ease with it, just play with them, because you don't want to get too excited and then it rips up, rip it off the mouth. Dang, he's way out there. Oh yeah, he's huge. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for watching like always. Um, so today I'm gonna show you guys another way how I cook up these shads. So um, here, let me show you. All right guys, so this is my personal little campfire I do in the backyard, but I also turn to a smoker. As you can tell, I laid more bricks on top and then I added more wood on the side to keep in the smoke to smoke these shads right here. So this is how I smoke the shad. This is the whole entire shad. I didn't fillet or nothing. I just gut it, cleaned it, cut the heads off, you know, the fins and stuff. And then this is the entire fish, as you can see. See that? And then I got my fire going on down here. And I leave this smoking for at least five to six or plus hours. So constantly I'm always adding more wood. And then I'm gonna cut some banana leaves and put it on top. So then it will keep it warmer. The reason I smoke it so long because it's gonna make the entire fish bones and everything like soft and brittle. And you can't even taste any bones. Like literally, you know the big bone, the spine bone, you can eat that too. It's crazy how smoking these fish will do that for you. Another good thing about these fish is that they're super oily. So it will keep it moist throughout the smoke. As you can see, it's dripping right there. There. But let's go ahead and cut some banana leaves real quick. All right guys, so this is my banana leaves, I mean banana leaves, my banana trees. And I'm gonna use their leaves to cover the shad fish. And I'm gonna cut these like towards the middle almost because I wanna leave some hanging. So let me start cutting. All right, so I cut these big ones already. And then let me cut this one and show you guys. So easiest way to cut it though is cut from the top. You cut from the bottom down here, it'd be way harder. So I just cut it from the top and it falls off like that. Then, so I'm gonna start collecting a whole bunch more leaves. All right guys, so what I mean is I'm just gonna put the banana leaves on top like this. And then I'm gonna stack them all on top. So it keeps all the smoke on the fish too, inside the fish and then how I um, keep the banana leaves from not flying off, I'm gonna use my barbecue lid and put it on top. All right guys, so I got my lid. I'm gonna put it on top, just like that. There you go. So this is how I personally smoke my shads. And like I said, I leave it there for a long time and I eventually will change out the leaves after they get really dry. I don't want them to burn. I would throw them away and I'll go cut more leaves and put it on top again. But um, I'll show you guys the finished product later, but I'll sh come back like every probably hour or so and show you guys what it looks like. All right guys, so it's been a couple hours. I'm gonna check it really quick. Ooh, it's really smoky. Got the smoke, I just put another piece of wood in there. I think I'm going, since it's been a couple of hours, I'm going to try to flip it so it cooks the top piece. So let's move all these banana leaves out of the way. Flip these, it's really hot. There. Oh wow, look at that. Let me show you. See how nice and cooked that is? So I'm gonna make sure it's, it's still soft, so I wanna make sure it's hard and brittle. So I'm gonna flip all these. There. Look at that. Oh, it's hot. Ooh, it's really hot. See all the oil and stuff? So it keeps it. So you don't need to put oil on it because it's full of oil already, so it's not gonna stick to the grill. But I'm gonna go ahead and flip all these and then I'll be back, guys. I got my new banana leaves cut again. 
This is gonna be the second flip. Well, not flipping, but the second run. All these shads all done being flipped. Look how beautiful they are. Nice and golden almost. So like I said, it, it, these are already cooked now. Like you can literally eat this, but I want to make it like very um, crispy. That's the word I was looking for. So when it's really crispy, the bone, like it's like eating chips. It's really delicious. As you can hear the sizzling. And then there's the fire. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead, put these banana, banana leaves on and leave for another two hours. So I got the new banana leaves on top. And then I'm gonna put the old ones on top too, just to keep it more um, layered. So it keeps in all the smoke and the um, heat. So it's gonna hopefully smoke it quicker. All right guys, I'll be back. Guys, it's been almost two hours. I'm getting impatient because I wanna go fish for more. So let's take a look at this and see how it is. Look at all the oil from the fish on the um, banana leaves, it's crazy. Wow, ooh, it's hot. Ooh. Oh wow guys. Look at that. Look at that. Beautiful. So this is almost done. I'm gonna let it go for probably another couple hours. But oh yeah, look at that. It's crispy. Alright guys, I'm gonna get this piece, give it a taste test. Right there. Mmm, you hear that crunch? It's almost ready. Yeah, I'll stay probably another hour. But two is better because I want all the bones to break. And then it tastes like chips. <laughs> no, not really like chips, but you know, it's all nice and crunchy. Been smoking for at least six hours. And I'm gonna, ooh, look at all that. I'm going to take it out because it is done. And then I'm gonna do a little taste test and show you guys how it tastes and stuff. Whoa, look at that. Whole entire fish. All right, so I'm gonna collect these and then I'm gonna bring them inside. So this is what it looks like. I broke it in half. The whole entire fish is cooked. And then let's hear the crunch. Oh yeah. Let's eat this piece. So I got my fish sauce with a whole bunch of other ingredients. Dip the smoked fish in the sauce. Mmm. That is so good. And then my wild greens. This is heaven. Mmm. It's so good. Get another piece. I like the skin a lot too. So you can hear it crackling. Look at that. Literally, you can't taste any bone. Mmm, delicious. So, if you guys want to try it, just follow what I did. Super easy. Just make sure you maintain the fire when it's not too hot because you don't want the fish to burn. But anyways, like always, subscribe, press the like button. Catch you guys later. Bye.